All right, what's going on dudes? Welcome back to some more Minecraft Pocket Edition. Dude, there was such a huge amount of people who were interested in seeing more after the first video I posted. I, I guess it shouldn't come as much of a surprise given that like two-thirds of the people watching these videos are doing so from like a tablet or a phone or something of the sort. But either way, I came up with a crazy idea. So we just wrapped up the season of Ultra Modded Survival. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Ultra Modded Survival. And as I mentioned, there was going to be a bit of a hiatus between that wrapping up and the next Modded Survival series starting. So I thought we could do a little mini Let's Play series on Pocket Edition. I know, crazy idea, but it could be an interesting change of pace. So I was thinking, right, we've already done our, our first little home building challenge, but I think for a Let's Play, we should probably, once we've decided that we're going to do it, sort of just start from the beginning. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make a new world. That is my world from the uh, the timed house building challenge right there. I'm a noob scrub. We're going to make a new one. What are we going to call it? Um, I am less of a noob scrub because now I've I built a house, perhaps? Uh, excuse the uh, the clicking if you can hear that over the the mic. I guess when it's outputting via like the keyboard, it does it through the speakers when the game should go through the audio cable. We'll see. I'm not an expert at this. That's what we'll call it. We'll call it I'm... Not an expert. In fact, you know what? I'm going to use this to sync up. Uh, e R P. There we go. Uh, now it's now it's all synced. <laughs> Beautiful. Because I forgot to do that at the beginning. Because I'm a professional. I'm not an expert. And survival mode probably what we want for our let's play. Create the world. Here we go, and we're off on our Minecraft Pocket Edition Let's Play. Well, as with any good Minecraft world, I should probably begin by collecting some wood. Oh, I forgot to mention, so a lot of people suggested that I do something called, like, split controls? Something along those lines? So I guess I could look into it. Why not? So let's see. If I go into my settings menu here, and options, I guess I can do, where do we go for this? Split controls. All right, why don't we give that a go and see what it does. So if we go over here and walk, um, and then I, I mine, that doesn't do anything. Hmm, how does this work then? Hold down, okay, that mines out. Maybe it's just that I, I hold and wherever I'm actually looking, that's where I end up mining. That may be what it is. Let's see. Okay, so I think it's just wherever my crosshair is, that's where I mine. Okay. That I actually, that I like. That's more like the PC version. And that'll actually probably help me out a good, a good amount. Okay, go ahead and mine stuff out. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Actually, I highly prefer that. The sensitivity seems to have gone up a little bit with that, but... Okay, that's good stuff. Yeah, now I can just rely on my crosshair. Good. Good. I... <laughs> coming from the PC, this is quite helpful. Although, yeah, my sensitivity is a little bit high here. Let's see. Options. And sensitivity. Boom. Let's drop that down a bit. Back. And back to game. Okay, that's better. That's better. Cool. So we got some wood. Obviously, we're losing out a little bit of time before night, given that we're we're doing a little messing around with the uh, the controls and whatnot. But hey, that's good. That's much better. If I had actually known about that, like initially, um, <laughs> that would would have helped me out a a good bit in in my klutzing around with the uh, with the house building. But oh well, you know, probably made it more entertaining with me just like not knowing what I was doing at all. Cool, so now I can just hold down anywhere on my screen and things happen. Okie dokie, so why don't we try to find some sheep? A bed would be good, just so that uh, we can at least make it through the first night without having to worry too much, because I don't know uh, how we're going to do here. <laughs> Trying to face off with mobs. I guess with the split controls it could help, because I can just punch straight ahead and... Uh, and that way I don't have to be like clicking on exactly where the mob is, so that's good. But even so, see if we can find a few sheep here, so we can make ourselves a bed. Do we? Uh, do we want to craft a workbench? I don't know if we. I don't know if we need to do that quite yet. I think it's probably more important that we find a place we want 
to be at. And so far, okay, there we go, some sheep. Beautiful. I could make a, I could make a sword, actually, if I wanted to. It'd make it a little bit easier to, to take out the sheep. All right, sheep, nothing personal, but I gotta do this. I, I gotta do this. It's very, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. That's not a workbench. <laughs> That's a piece of wood. Um, granted, workbenches, it's made out of wood, but not that kind of wood. Okie dokie, let's make ourselves a workbench. Boom, crafting table, boom. Place that down, boom. I can click anywhere on the screen because I'm using my crosshairs. Gotta get used to that. Okay, so now let's make some more planks, make some sticks, and make a sword so that we can take out the sheep in a much easier fashion. I'm so sorry, sheep. See, this time, instead of remembering the cows, we're on a different platform here. So, it's brand new. It's a brand new experience, and this time we remember the sheep. The poor, the poor helpless sheep who sacrificed his or her either genderless. God dang it, maybe my sensitivity is too low now. I'm like panning around a whole bunch. Alright, there we go. Oh, oh no, we have a, another sheep over here, and it's about to get wrecked. Oh, there we, the, the, the humanity. It's actually not humanity because you're an animal, but even so, should treat you with respect. I guess I can get, I guess I can get, remember the chickens too. I'm gonna need you. There we go. All right, we got ourselves a bed. We're in business. We're in bit. We're in. We're in. God, there we go. Jeez, fantastic job on my part. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got even more sheep. But do I need to take them out? Let's only do what's necessary. Let's only do what's necessary. We have the wool for a bed. So, baby cow over here. And I'll leave you be. I'll leave you be. Maybe you be. You're not gonna drop anything because you're only a baby. You can grow up to be a nice, healthy cow, so I can eat your nice, healthy meat. Mmm. Um. Nom nom. Ah. Uh, okay. There are no. There aren't many trees that way. Maybe I should head in the other way. It seems like we just got a whole bunch of water surrounding us here. You know. I. I mean. I. I I'm going with whatever I got. We're not. We're not doing a mulligan on the spawn. This is. This is the first world that I've generated. It's not like I've done a bunch of takes of this. And I've gone and been like, oh, I don't like this world, let's do a new one. No, 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 no. It's take number one. Because that is how we roll. We do things, we do things first try here. Except for, uh, except for beating the queen. That took about, like, 50,000 million tries, but, you know, finally we did, we did do it. We did do it. So, nothing to worry about. Okay. So, I don't know, where do we want to make our starter house? Do we want to do it in this area? I, I always kind of like to find a cool place. But at the same time, um, if we're in like a little island area and we're kind of just stuck here, then, I don't know, there also don't seem to be many caves around here, which is a bit of a bummer, because uh, caves are helpful to find resources. But hey, let's wander, let's mosey on over this way and maybe we'll find something interesting. Where's the sun? Where is the, uh, the sun up in the square? Where are you, Mr. Sun? Where are you at? Where are you be? Okay, you're sitting over there. All right, well, let's see, is this a cave? This is a cave. Hmm. You know, why don't we make a pickaxe? It's, it's, uh, we're dilly down a little bit too long here, I feel like, so, Let's go ahead and uh, let's make a wooden pickaxe. Boom, make you. All right, swap that on out. I didn't didn't make it apparently, because I know what I'm doing. Let's click on there and wooden pickaxe. Make you cool. There we go. Got it. Got it. Coordination at its finest. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some cobble. Boom. All right, there we go. Putting that crosshair to use. Why would anyone use the other methodology to, to do this? So much, it's so much better with the, the crosshair method that's more like PC. This is actually, yeah, it's actually like way more usable right now. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, I feel, I feel like a natural already at this. I'll have to fine tune my sensitivity a little bit, maybe like in the interim between this episode and the next one. Um, but yeah, once that's all set, we should be good. Okay, that, and I guess we'll make some more, make some more planks, we'll make some more sticks, and we'll make a stone pickaxe, cool. 
So the stone cutter apparently makes like all the chiseled bricks and whatnot. It's a it's a block specific to pocket edition. Well, we already knew that. I just didn't know exactly what it did. Um, I don't know if we need to make one quite yet. We'll probably do. We'll, oh, we should make the bed though. At the very least, so we can have it. We can put it down whenever it's necessary. And let's swap that out. And okie dokie. Cool beans, brah. Cool beans. Oh, do we want to make the axe as well? Let's make the axe. Okay, there we are. Boom. And boom, and swap out the axe for that. And I think it's just about nighttime. Actually, probably would have been good if I had gotten coal, but I didn't. So hey, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do, we're gonna do that. And then uh, before any mobs spawn too close, we're just gonna sleep off the night. I don't want mobs yet. No, I don't. I don't want any of them. I am not prepared. I need an adult. And then maybe I'll be prepared after I after I find an adult to supervise. Nope, Mr. Zombie, you and I, we have a bone to pick because I have split controls now and you're dead. <laughs> Walking straight towards me, not the best approach. There we go, some coal. Some beautiful, beautiful, lovely coal to set us on our way. Look at this, man. Four for the D-pad and the lack of a hunger bar and the hearts in the upper left hand corner he couldn't tell right now that i'm not on pc my my aim is absolutely impeccable it's precise it's it's well aimed it's well defined it's i don't i don't know <laughs> i don't know lack of sprinting too sprinting would be good but I, hey you know it's we are good okay so we got a cup of coal i mean we could make some torches if we wanted to or do we want to find like a bigger better cave system possibly and actually you know what finding some more coal would probably be good not even gonna lie to you there not even gonna lie to you uh new all right i guess let's go over to the uh let's go to this place over here looks promising we've got a good amount of wood at least we may not have a house yet we may we may just be a drifter just drift around from place to place to begin with and and find thing. I do that. Uh, at, least, at least there's auto swim. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we're just gonna drift around. No trees over here. No trees with which we can acquire more stuff to build our shelter. But that's okay. I can always mine into a mountain if I get into any sort of predicament. Hmm. Well, it being a desert, we're probably not gonna find much in the way of uh, above ground caves. But maybe. Maybe, just maybe, we can wander on through and, and find a biome on the other side. I mean, granted, this has, like, all the biomes in it. It has all the new biomes, as far as I know, especially because we, we did spawn in a dark oak forest the other time. So, um, yeah, we could, we could just go for a trek. I mean, the fact that there is no hunger bar does make it a lot easier. Like, normally I'd be pretty concerned right now. I'm trekking through a desert without much in the way of food. And, uh, I don't have water either, man. Oof. It's rough. It's, it's real... It's rough stuff. I'm gonna... My throat is getting really parched. You know, it's funny because my throat is actually kind of parched right now. I, I should have... I should have gotten a drink, but I didn't. And I'm currently regretting it. Sort of. Maybe kind of a little bit. But, uh, hey. Let's see. Yeah, I'm... I am, uh... I am a method actor. I'm a meth... I'm a method let's player. <laughs> you know, if I'm... If I'm gonna be parched in the game, I'm gonna be parched in real life, too. If I'm gonna be attacked by zombies in the game, I'm gonna be attacked by zombies in real life, too. Because that's... That's how I practice my craft. So I practice mine... Craft. Yeah. I'm a method crafter. Okay. Well, anyway, I just trekked across the desert. It was pretty fun stuff. Um... Throat is still parched, unfortunately, making it back into a green biome didn't didn't do much to help. I feel dude, I wanna find like a more there we go, hey, we have a savannah. I'm like, dude, I wanna find a more interesting biome to start off with. None of none of this desert, none of this regular old plains. We gotta we gotta get something new up in here, right? I mean we've only done let's plays up until 1.6. So if we're gonna do if we're gonna do a Minecraft Pocket Edition let, let's play and it, it has the 1.7 biomes. You, I'll be darned if if I am not using them. So here we go. We got we got a savanna. Well, to be fair, to be fair, Myonite is in 1.7 and it is in a savanna. I was talking about the solo stuff, but you know, 
I mean, for that because of that, I don't know if I want to do Savannah because my night is like all Savannah. So I feel like we also need some variety there. So maybe we trek on through the uh, Savannah. Maybe we take advantage of the fact that we don't have a hunger bar and we just trek. There will be no getting back because I haven't a clue in Pocket Edition how to access your coordinates, nor do I even think there's a way to do that. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, we got a village! All right! Hey, there we go. You know what? I will consider that a start to our adventure. Is us finding a village? All right. Good stuff. Well, 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 well. Uh, I am going to... How do I interact with the villagers? How do I specify that I want to do a right click and not a punch? Hmm. Hopefully it decides automatically. Hello! I put, no, doesn't decide automatically. I am sorry. Uh, uh, dump. How do I? <laughs> I can't keep punching them. How do I do this? Uh, click over there, maybe. Hey, no, I keep. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. There's got to be a way. There must be a way. Maybe empty hand. Empty. Empty hand. I'm gonna. How do I clear my hand? I don't want it. I don't want the feather anymore. Get it away from me. I'm allergic to down. It makes me get all sneezy. No, I can't. I'm permanently gonna have down allergies. I'm so sorry. I keep... I want to be friends. I want to be friends, but it's like the Midas touch right now. It's... It's... He thought it would be a good idea. Although there's nothing currently that I thought would be a good idea. I thought it would be a good idea. And it just turned out to not be a good idea. Villagers, I'm gonna have to save you from the zombies tonight. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a task. It's gonna be a trying task. Me trying to defend you on pocket edition. Ooh. I uh yeah, I I may I may be the hero you need, but definitely not the one that you deserve. If we we're a little bit we're reverse of Batman. Yeah. Uh you deserve better. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Let's try to find a chest. Maybe maybe I can interact with a chest with the Hello. How are you? Good, pretty pretty cool. Chests anywhere? I just, it's an experiment. I'm not gonna steal anything from you. I just want to experiment to see if I can even open it. No, nothing. No blacksmith either. Oh, you guys are killing me. You guys are, you guys are killing me. I almost went off the edge of the roof there, which would have been really bad. Because uh, then I would have lost health with like, nothing to get, regen. Um, let's check out the bigger houses over here. Maybe they'll have a chest that I can try to open. Hey guys, how is it going? Pretty good. Yeah. No, your house is pretty empty. You look like you need some furniture. Uh, you having a party in here? It's, it's pretty tight space. I see what you're trying to do. I'll leave you alone. All right. I mean, fair enough. That's just if that's what you want to do. You you do what you do. You do you do 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 the do your stuff. Keep doing it. Okay. Uh, no ch no chests. Just no one in here. No one in here is. Feeling generosity. There's a cave in the mountain that maybe I'll be able to, uh, maybe I can explore. Maybe I can lose a bit of health. You know, I'm feeling a bit too healthy here. Feeling, uh, like I haven't been daring enough, perhaps. Um, but yeah, it really looks like there's just not, not stuff. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Well, you know what I can do? Is I can, I can go ahead and sleep off the night, and then... In the morning, we can go and, uh, I don't know, we can go and explore the cave or something like that. Does that sound like a plan? You guys want to help? Probably not. No, you're just like, who is this dude who's just freaking invading our stuff? And I don't blame you for thinking that I would be the same way, to be honest with you. Anyway, let's just sleep off the night. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna, just gonna take a rest right in the middle of your walkway. I mean, thanks for keeping it open. Thanks for keeping it clean. Very nice place. And now watch them all just being taken over by zombies. Now you're good. You just sat there and watched me sleep the whole night. He was like, one of us. One of us. One of us. And he walks away. It's like, that dude's freaking weird. Why is he chanting? Fine, man. I mean, if you want to, if you don't like me, I guess that's fair. That's fair. Uh, well, you know what? You know what? I'm just going to make a chest. Just gonna make a chest and see if I can even interact with it. Let's see. All right, we'll put down the freaking workbench. Okay, man, put it down. And boom. 
Make the chest. Boom. Okay. Cool. What do we want to swap it out for? We'll swap it out for that and see if I can even interact with this. Hey, okay, that works. It's just I can't interact with the villagers. Um, either I'm dumb, very possible, or maybe in pocket condition you can't trade with villagers? I don't know. Either way, that's chest, and how do we swap items in? We just click them. We just click them. Okie dokie. Glad I'm figuring things out pretty, pretty quick there. And, uh, yeah, let's just destroy it. Okay, cool. Well, uh, we can leave this there, and then we can go into the place where the spider is coming out of, because that's always a good plan, but I think I'm going to call the episode here. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, a rating would be very much appreciated for the very first episode of not ultra, but, but very much pocket survival. Ultra pocket survival. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so on that note, um, I guess I will catch you next time.